The X-Zone COM is a communications module for the X-Zone. It transmits the gas concentrations of the connected X-Zone and the maximum value of the group via a mobile phone network. The X-Zone COM contains a GPS receiver. It can send texts and emails. Before first use, a SIM card needs to be installed in the X-Zone COM. To do this, turn the X-Zone COM over and remove the six screws. Disconnect the battery cable. Unscrew the GSM modem and insert the SIM card. Reconnect the power cable. Put the lid back on and screw it tightly in place. Screw the antenna to the X-Zone COM. Plug in the data cable. Now put a switched off X-Zone with an XAM installed onto the X-Zone COM and plug the X-Zone COM data cable into the X-Zone. Make sure that the Modbus function on the X-Zone is on and that the signal on the upper connector is on. That is the default setting for the X-Zone 5500. The X-Zone 5000 must be activated by Draeger service. You can check the configuration of the X-Zone with the CC Vision software. The X-Zone COM is operated with a magnetic pen and two buttons next to the display. Switch the X-Zone COM on using the magnetic pen and watch the display. The flashing symbols display the functions. Note the battery status and GSM signal strength. If the X-Zone COM can log into the GSM network, signal strength bars will appear. You can use the magnetic pen to scroll through any potential error messages. Hold it briefly against the right-hand button. Switch on the X-Zone and check the X-Zone COM error message with the magnetic pen. Error 89, no X-Zone, should no longer appear. The X-Zone COM and X-Zone monitoring system is now in operation. A PC is necessary to configure data transmission.